The ground was shaking at the University at Buffalo today. News 4's Lindsay Schwarzwalder takes us to the North Campus now, where engineers were putting a 70-ton bridge to the ultimate test. A scheduled 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck the 70-ton bridge at UB's Structural Engineering and Earthquake Simulation Laboratory. This shaking is consistent with very soft soil and uh, pushing the abutment very easily. The purpose of the simulation was to help engineers evaluate if a fast new construction method formerly known as accelerated bridge construction would be strong enough to withstand seismic activity. A seven magnitude quake is considered a major earthquake on the Richter scale. To put it in perspective, the 6.9 magnitude Loma Prieta earthquake that rocked the San Francisco Bay Area in 1980 took down bridges and buildings, killing 60 and injuring close to 4,000. The type of bridge being researched at UB did quite well after two 7.0 magnitude quakes were simulated. Only a few cracks and chips were evident, but most importantly, the bridge came back to its original position. But the good thing, the structure came back where it started. So you don't have a lean, you don't have a permanent deformation, and it's very important because you want that bridge to be drivable immediately after an earthquake so you can start the emergency response. Next, the data will be analyzed. The goal is to come up with a federal guide to better our country's infrastructure. And not only is this type of bridge quick to put together, it demonstrated through this test that it could withstand seismic activity too. UB's unique simulation laboratory is likely the only place in the nation that could perform this type of test. This puts UB on the front line when it comes to evaluating technical, technological innovations for our country's infrastructure. And this bridge in particular would save time and money. Live, Lindsay Schwarzwolder, News 4 at 530. That is neat. Thanks a lot.